So here we are. And my advice to my drama students is to ask more questions about their script. If you feel stuck, remember that rehearsal is a research process, right? So what don't you know about your character, right? There's a lot you don't know. And we have to use our imagination to go ahead and figure that out. So on Nearpod Live, I want you to write questions down that you have about your character. Okay, some examples might be like, what is my character thinking? When my character says blah, blah, blah. Or why does my character um, say the word blah, blah, blah. When my character, asaka, blah, blah. Like, I want you to look at your script right now and write a text-based question. Like, why does my character say, why does my character say, oh, la, 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 la. and I want to see the quote. So like, where are you guys? And I know like during academic prep, right? One way that you can get points is by asking more questions. You had one earlier today, like a question. Okay, so I'm waiting on these questions. Does no one has a question about their script? We know everything. That's the thing too. As a teacher, I'm gonna just sit and wait. So you think of a question because students, just because it's distant learning doesn't mean you're not going to ask questions. What do I do when I'm not talking? Okay, can you put your questions in the Nearpod collaboration board, please, Luis? So what should your character do when your character's not talking? That's a great question. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. If you wait long enough as a teacher, kids start to write questions. Why does my character get defensive when Gabby is playing around with her? Great. Points for Elizabeth. That's a great question. Other questions. Show emotion. That's not a question. Because it's like, that's, that's the problem with drama. We're like, show more emotion. Show, but why? Right? You need to know the why behind what you do. Like, why does your character say what they say? Once you ask why and how, then the emotion will come. Cause then you can get more into character. Like Lizbeth was saying, we can get more into character. You need to know what makes your character tick. In order to know what your, makes your character tick, you need to ask questions. So here we go. Why does my character show emotion? What should I do if my character is in the hospital? What do you mean, Johan? Can you elaborate on that? How do we emphasize the loss of power of Mona? Says Yahari, points for Yahari. How should we react to our son dropping out of college? So my answer to that, Yahari, is it's like, well, what, what do you think? You have to use your imagination as an actor. So how would you react if you had a son to your son dropping out of college? You have to put yourself in your son's shoes. There's a lot of back and forth talking between the two other characters in my script, and I don't know what to do when they're talking. Are you on stage? Right, so what we're doing is we're identifying problems. While you're on stage, you have to ask yourself, what does your character think about what they're saying? Like you have to, like Lizbeth said, like Carla said, get in their shoes. You have to think and be your character and think, how would your character react? Because acting begins still, acting is still happening, even when you're not saying your lines. So you should be on camera reacting. Why is my character ashamed of her relationship? Keep them coming, guys. So why is your character ashamed of the relationship? And you have to use your imagination to think about that. Like, what are the questions? Don't stop asking the questions. And then I want you to come up with the answers. I wonder what emotion my character feels when she says, I still can't believe you work there. Should I be annoyed, judgmental? Now, Lizbeth, do you know the answer to that? 
Um, well, I know it's not going to be like a good emotion because she's kind of like questioning where she works. So I know that it's going to be like something along the lines of being annoyed or judgmental or um, maybe just kind of like trying to find an answer from like her girlfriend. I don't know. I'm still like trying to look into that. Do you agree though, Lizbeth, that it's important for you to make a choice left or right? Like, like whether you're... Yeah. Yes, so that's what the teach art assignment was about. Guys, you need to make stronger choices. Janelle, are you there or do you go to the dentist yet? Janelle, you know you need to make stronger choices, right? Here we are, we're live on YouTube and she's not answering. That's not okay. Basically, what should I do if my character is out of scene? If your character is off scene, turn off your camera. What can my character do when other character does her monologue? If your character is on stage and in the room, you should react. Like we were saying, you should take deep breaths. You should sigh. You should shake your head. You should do, you should move. But the acting, acting is listening. Repeat after me, acting is listening. I wonder how I'm supposed to set my tone when I comfort my friend. How do I set the tone? So you have to ask yourself, how would I talk if I was comforting my friend? There's my parents, so I'd be on my phone ignoring them. You just want a reason to be on your phone. Okay, guys, so that was a quick discussion about like asking questions. Just because we're done with this activity doesn't mean it stops. All drama students, if you want points, post text-based questions to Seesaw about your script and then find the answers. The more questions you have, the better. Post your questions, post your answers, and you're gonna get points. Got it? That's a way to raise your grade. Okay guys, so I'm gonna prep you into going into